Hello, Pythoneer. Welcome to this video on how to use the OpenAI Whisper Library in Python to transcribe your voice to text. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use the library to first transcribe to pure text and second, format it so you can use it in an SRT file. Let's not waste any time and get straight into it. There are a few things you need to know before we can start. Therefore, we go to github.com slash openai slash whisper. Here we get all info we need. Work to check out by your own, I will show you the basic things. The general setup should be Python 3.12 or below, can't get it to work with Python 3.13 yet, and then we require a specific PyTorch version. I would try it with the most updated one, but if you get an error, you know you need to downgrade the version in your env. The next big requirement is that Whisper only works if the command line tool FFmpeg is installed. This is what I show you next. You can skip this part of the video if you have already installed the FFmpeg command line tool. You require FFmpeg for OpenAI's Whisper because Whisper processes audio inputs, and FFmpeg helps convert, decode, or resample audio files into formats suitable for Whisper's transcription model. It's essential for handling various audio formats and ensuring compatibility. If you press the download button on the right here, you see some additional ways to install it. Linux, Win, Mac, or even directly via Git. I will stick with the homebrew way because I am on Mac and this is the easiest for me. But I had some major issue get this working. That's why I drop a playlist in the comments where you find some videos that may help you to install it. Okay, for brew, just Google FFmpeg brew or use the link I provided in the description. Copy the command and head over to our terminal. I have a new one here. Paste it and give it a go while it takes some time. I had an issue related to the path where FFmpeg is installed. If you have an issue as well, let us know in the comments, and let's fix this together as a community. My Python 3.12 env wasn't able to find the installation path of FFmpeg, and due to this, it ran into an error, because the file needs to be processed first. It took me like 30 minutes to fix this, and I hope it just works on your side. I uninstalled the FFmpeg, deleted my env, did the whole process again, and by magic, I was able to fix it. If you have an issue, the best advice I can give first, restart your Python instances, and if this doesn't work, your whole device, and hope it's able to find it after. When this setup is done, we can start using Whisper with Python. Like I said, the first version is just using the terminal, and this is also the way I use it in my workflow for the videos. The Whisper CLI in terminal is packed with powerful functions you can't use in the plain Whisper Python library. Now, let's head over to our code editor. I already created my Whisper Python file here and added a test wave file we will use for the transcription. We start by creating a new environment using a Python version below 3.13, as mentioned earlier. I call mine Whisper here. We activate the virtual environment and install the Whisper library using the command pip install open AI Whisper. This should be done quickly. After these steps, we can start building our script. I will first show you the basic setup, the voice to text function, and then the voice to SRT conversion. Let's go. First, import the library, and then we define a function called transcribe Whisper that takes an input file and an output directory as input. Then, we assign the model we want to use to a model variable using the whisper.loadModel function. Here's a list of all available models. I'll stick to the tiny model because it's fast. Then, we can use the model.transcribe function to configure the returned result and assign it to a variable. In this step, we define the input file we want to pass to the model, the language, en is default, and whether we want timestamps or segments in our output. These segments are used for the SRT version later. The library version is very limited in its results possibility. So let's continue. To visualize it, I grab the transcribed text from the result using the text key to show the plain text and the segments using the segments key to show the segments. That's the MVP, and we can already give it a shot. To visualize the output, I add a simple print function with the two outputs here. We will get rid of them later. Then, we define an input audio file path. I use the file I showed you earlier in the project and an output directory where we want to save the file. I'll set it up here as blank on the desktop. Now, we run the transcribe whisper function with these two inputs. And voila, we made our first transcription. I know it's a bit messy here in the terminal, but I'll show you a cleaner way later. The upper part is the print of the text marked here. It's hard to notice, but the result always starts with a space which can cause some issues. We fix this by adding the strip function to the transcribed text. The lower messy part contains the segments packed with a lot of additional information. We only need the start and end times and the text. Depending on your use case, 
This could already work in your application. Let's clear this up and improve the text part first. For example, we can store it in a text file, which I will show you now. We start by creating a text file path. Therefore, we create an empty text file at the output path with the input file as name, like I do here. Then, we use the with open syntax to open this file in write mode as f. Using the write function, we now write the transcribed text to the file and add feedback like transcription saved to the text file path. And that's it. When we run the code again, we create a new text file containing the transcription. And this is the output we get, a well-formatted text file with the transcribed text. Before you use it, you have to know that the model can make issues. If you need accurate results, better process this file even more. Is this helpful for you? What do you want to use the Whisper library for? Please let us know in the comments. While I do some refactoring on the code, let me thank you for watching so far. Please consider giving me a like and subscribe. I fixed a typo in the segments, deleted the print statements, and wrapped the execution in an if main block. Okay, now let's handle the segments to store them in an SRT file, which we can upload, for example, on YouTube to add subtitles to your videos. The subtitles with timestamps follow a specific format, as shown here. We first have the segment number, then the start time, followed by an arrow pointing to the end time, and then the text on a new line. After the text, we add two blank lines before moving to the next segment. We again start by creating the empty SRT file at the output path. Here I use the same string pattern like at the text style, but now with the SRT ending to create an SRT file. I pass the output path and the file name to it, so we already have some kind of file organizing here. Then, we open it in write mode as F. Next, we use a for loop with enumerate to loop over all indexes and segments. The index is later used to number the segments in the file. Now, we create the start time by reading the start key, the end time by reading the end key, and the text by reading the text key from the segments dictionary. Then, we use the file's write function to recreate the shown SRT format. Specifically, we write the index plus one to start at one, with a backsplash n to add a line break. Then the start time, an arrow that is created by using two dash and a bigger sing, the end time with a line break at the end. Note that I renamed the end and start by adding an SRT at the end. I will show soon why. The third part is the text, followed by two line breaks. For sure, you could combine all of this inside one function, but I thought it would be more clear and easier for you to understand the pattern to show it to you in this way. As you may have noticed, I had an indentation issue I had to fix. Then we can try this out already. Here in the created SRT file, we are already close to the format we want. However, the space at the beginning of the text needs to be fixed, and the timestamps need further formatting. Let's handle that now. The space can be fixed by using the strip function on the text. The timestamps need this long formatting string to convert them from the dynamic seconds milliseconds format into a static HHMMSS MS format. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll provide it in the description. To get this to work, I need to change the start time and end time variable names, and then we can give it a go. When we now run this, we get the exact format we want. The timestamps and the space are fixed. And that's it. This is all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope this video helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. Happy coding. I'll see you in the next one.